Now I'd like to show you how to select features by attributes in ArcGIS. So here I have some census data for counties for the U.S. displayed, and I'll show you um, basically some of the variables we have. So uh, one of them is this population density per square mile, and I can show that, and that's not very good in a natural breaks. Here we have a quantile that's again trying to put into five classes, so about 20% in each of the class, and that doesn't look so good. So I'll go to the symbols here and format all the symbols and get rid of that outline. And so we can see now that we have this range of values here with these lower limits going from 12.3 persons per square mile to about uh, 55,000 people per square mile in the darkest uh, red. So I might want to then select by attributes here. Let's say select very high and very low dense population area. So if I click on the select by attributes tool here in this feature layer group for U.S. counties, I can create a new selection and I create these selections. I'll add clauses to them, selection clauses. So I might want to find places where the population per square mile is less than some value. And if I click it, helpfully gives me these values. I can go select one here, um, and there is just 10. So I want ones that are less than 10, and I can add that. That's a single variable selection. So I can go ahead and run that. And it'll look through all the data layers and select all those with a low population density. So I have all these counties selected with a low population density. Now, I might want to save these or do something for further processing. For example, I could add a field here, and I could call this uh, popden, a new field, and I might go over here and make it a, uh, um, a text field, and then I'm going to go and make it just 10 long to have it be short and manageable. So I'll go ahead then and save that field to my data set. And then I could go ahead and do the calculations like I did before in the previous exercise where I'll right click and calculate the field. And this pop a den field, which is a text field, I will add values in this case of low for the population density if I'm reclassifying these. And so then all the selected features get a low population density. I can deselect and you can see then that basically those that I click on here in the rural area have a low population density and those that are in the that were left over are unclassified. Um, so uh, I can then use this reselection to save data or select data or do things for it. Now, I don't have to just select with uh, one clause. I can select with several clauses. So again, in the U.S. counties, I can do a new selection where I have a clause where I want, let's say, the population per square mile is greater than my value of 10. Okay, and I'll add that clause. And then I can add another clause where I want and the population density is less than some other value. Let's say I'll put 3,000 here. That might be my, and add that, my limit for some med level. So I have this um, compound set of selections with two clauses. So I want them greater than 10, but less than 3,000. So if I run, I'll get the intermediate level. So the high population density aren't selected, the really high population density, nor the low. And then I could go back here and calculate my field, right? And it's only going to add that calculation for the set I selected. So I can build these complex queries with the clauses and select and calculate values only for those that I've selected. Quite a powerful and useful tool.